guys, welcome to the Neurodivergent Dog Trainer. My name is Jazz and today we are going to be doing the four month pup box review. I actually just got it in the mail today. They are itching to get some new toys and I'm itching to figure out what's in this because we just got home from my mom's for Thanksgiving and you can hear them in the background. They are getting their food in them because I had to wait a little bit longer after letting their stomach settle after a long enough drive. But yeah, um, in the meantime, let's open her up. Ooh. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, Pup Box is a monthly subscription. It's going to bring in um, toys and training utensils and things like that to help you on your journey to training your dog. So it does tell you each month what you're going to get. Um, so this month, ooh, I just saw this ball and I know that this is going to become a new favorite toy. They have a couple balls of like these that were inside other, oh, it's not a squeaky one, that were inside other toys that Vapor had that she hadn't destroyed and they absolutely love these. Side note, if you're a human and your feet hurt, one of these that kind of squishes but not really, absolutely wonderful. Just like massage out your feet, wonderful feeling. It's the Christmas themed one. Well, this is adorable. It's a really long rope toy. Looks like each section has a squeaker in it, so that's gonna be a lot of cleaning up later. Not. And then, as always, you wanna make sure that you get all of the plastic bits off because as you know, especially if you have a puppy, they will eat all of it. No cares in the world. So, a nice long reindeer toy. This actually might be the new bite toy. Like I've said in a previous video, I'm pretty sure at some point, I am gonna try to put Merle in Schutzen IPA, whatever it's called now, the protection bite sports, because he really likes to bite things and I've been working with him on no bite and bite, both of them, no bite and bite, but Merle especially getting that tug down. So I think if he gets good at targeting, especially these middle ones, I can hold out like this and tell him to bite. And then like, this is really soft and it'll be a lot cheaper than buying the actual official bite training stuff off of Amazon because that stuff's not cheap. Um, it is good quality, but if I can train them with different toys first, I'm okay with that. And once he loses his puppy teeth, we can move on to bigger stuff. So it looks like we got a Buffalo Check Snuggle that's also got a squeaker in it. This will not be snuggled, this will be eaten. These guys don't destroy toys too terribly quick until they get in the mood to destroy them quickly and then they're just gone. So like, this is pretty, like it doesn't have any give to it, like it rotates, but I can't, this has the same texture as a blanket. Um, or like a flannel shirt. So it's like this flannel on the outside and this side is really soft like a blanket. So I would assume if your dogs really like blankets like these two do, I have a couple blankets that they're allowed to just destroy, which they don't, they just tug on them a lot. One of them I think is still outside and I need to wash it. However, if your dogs like blankets, this would probably be a really good toy for them. Obviously we talked about the ball earlier. I thought this was just going to be one teething ring and I was like, well, that sucks because I've got two puppies. No, this has four in there and pumpkin flavored. So I know they're going to love that. Looks like we have some gingerbread bites made with real peanut butter and bacon. So that's nice. Honestly, I don't really use these treats for anything more than crate training. And I'll go over that more in the crate training. You get this really cool guide that tells you different things to expect, what's typical puppy behavior, what's gonna start happening at this point. So like this one has a lot of teething rules because from four to six months, a lot of puppies start to lose their puppy teeth and get their adult teeth, which I'm not ready for, but it is what it is. Um, for that reason, you want to have a lot of really durable toys like this so that they aren't chewing up your stuff. But you also want to keep a closer eye on them to make sure they don't start chewing up things they aren't supposed to and creating those bad habits. That is the box. 
I'm very excited about this. It is now time for them to be let out since they have finished eating. It's been about 10-15 minutes, so it's time for them to go potty. I'll see you guys next week.